My name is Sam Arbuna. I am a full stack JavaScript developer right now. I, uh, I love React and I love Node. So I do a lot of React Node and I do a lot of GraphQL, which is for data communication. Nice. Tell us a little bit more about GraphQL. GraphQL is well, GraphQL is a perfect match for React because it's basically, it gives us a, a language to declaratively describe our exact data requirement very clearly and uh, much better in REST, much better than REST. Um, so um, it basically optimize the process of data communication between um, the front end application and a server. Um, and it totally re replaces REST APIs. So very excited about it, very excited about all the cool new things coming in React and GraphQL in general. In GraphQL specifically, there is subscription coming. So it's not just about asking questions and, and getting the exact data back. It's also about real-time communication, and that's happening in GraphQL. What are some of the other exciting things that are happening in the GraphQL community? There is a lot of emerging applications where you can get an immediate GraphQL API from the cloud. So if you want to cloud host your data. There is um, applications where you can just define your models and you get an immediate GraphQL API. So that's, that removes a barrier to entry for the newcomers because you don't have to write a complete server application to use a GraphQL for a front end. You can just generate an API in the cloud, which is really cool. So why did you choose React as a front end framework? Funny story. <laughs> so I actually came to React from Ember. I was doing a lot of Ember before React. And someone wanted me to try React. And I actually tried it to prove to them that Ember is better. <laughs> uh, but it turned out that React is much better as I saw it. So um, I, I kind of like specialized libraries instead of big, giant framework that have a lot of design decisions already made. So I like the flexibility around it. So React is that library that does one thing, and it does it really well. And it, stay out of your way for doing the other stuff around it. And you get to choose other good libraries to match with React, like GraphQL, for example. Where, for example, Emperor and Angular, they're more of complete solution, and they want you to do things a certain way, which is not necessarily bad for like a newcomer to the framework. But React has a lot of flexibility, and I love that about it. So I switched completely to React <laughs> from that point. So I know you do a lot of trainings. Does Create React App change your trainings in any way after it was created? Uh, a little bit. I mean, for like completely beginner training, it's cool to just have them not suffer through the configuration. <laughs> so Create React App will, will be like up and running in like a minute, right? Versus if you need to create your own environment, you'll have to spend at least a good 15, 20 minutes to show them. Uh, but although like after the first time you use React in something like Create React App, I totally encourage students to learn how to configure their own environments, because I think they learn a lot from that. And Create React App is a very cool project to learn from that, because it's, like, it's open source and it's very approachable. Um, but yeah, after so the first step is Create React App, and then do your own environment the way you like it. Um. How do you feel like React Fiber is going to change the React ecosystem? <sighs> totally excited about that. I mean, any optimization is good. React is already like super optimized <laughs> the way we want it to be optimized as an agent to the browser. Uh, but I think with JavaScript limitation, there is always room for more optimization. And React Fiber is one of those projects that's going to make it a lot better. You've been a part of a lot of different communities, the Node community, the Ember community, the React community, the GraphQL community. What would you say is different about the React community? So the, the Node community is uh, interesting. It's, uh, the Node project is not a very approachable project like for contribution to open source projects because it's it's a really big involved project that has a lot of parts in C and like goes into V8. Um, but Node itself is a framework that is totally worth learning from A to Z if you are a React developer. Uh, because you know all the <coughs> ecosystem of React, the cool new tools, they're all node based and having knowledge in Node itself um, gives you a lot of power into understanding those tools and picking the tools that write for you and modifying things the way you like it. So if, like for newcomers to React, after you get good feeling of the framework and start 
getting excited about it. The next step is really Node. Awesome. Where, where can we find you on the internet? I am Sam Rubuna everywhere. I tweet sometimes, not a lot of times, mostly funny stuff. But <laughs> and on GitHub and everything else. Hey there. Are you into reactive programming using JavaScript? Do you have to deal with asynchrony in your web app? Then join this dot instructor, Ben Lesh, to learn all of the ins and outs of RxJS in his hands-on workshop. Available online and in person, go to rxworkshop.com for more details and to book your spot today.